O'Malley. I need you to round our rooms 21. Excuse me? I'm I'm here, but I'm not here. You won't be anywhere in about 30 seconds Sir, if you... I'll do respect. There, no offense intended, uh, but I won't cross the picket line. And yet somehow you're standing in front of me. Well, yeah, because some of the nurses want me to check on their patients, and so I am, but then I'm going right back out there to join them. You're a doctor. Yes, sir. But I'm also a union man. I'll do respect there. No offense intended. Fine. Sir, while I have you here, I'm supposed to tell you that uh, Mrs. O'Brien in 2412 is allergic to chocolate, but she pulls the allergy sticker off her chart every chance she gets. Wonderful. And uh, that Mr. you're supposed to watch Mr. Roberts in 2119 take and swallow his diuretics. Apparently, he likes to hoard them under his mattress. Is that it? 40 to 50 hours of mandatory overtime O'Malley. is extreme. Yes, sir, I'm very sorry. No to Dr. O'Malley. Unkind. Oh, shut your pie hole, yeah. Hey, Joe, can we have another round, please? Yeah, give Nurse O'Malley a drink on me. <laughs> What'd you say? Hey, uh, Karev just called me a nurse. At least nurses aren't really? butchers. Is that the worst you could come up with? Oh, yeah. wait, was that an insult or is that a. It was supposed to be funny. Are you kidding me? I will kill you, you know. Bring it on. Bring, oh, bring it on, okay? Mama, let's bring it on. Oh, look, there's your squad. We want to cheer it out, soccer mom. Oh, are you I'm getting it? Hey, 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 Excuse me, Mr. Ryan. Out there, wait there, out there, wait. And don't believe 2519 when she tells you that she went to the bathroom. She just wants to go home. She just says she went to the bathroom, and then she's back here two days later. Hey, I need sutures in 2602. Can't help you. What? Fair hours, fair wages. Fair hours, fair. It's no offense. None taken. Strike down. Do you know, do you realize how rarely doctors say thank you and please to nurses? How few surgeons even know the names of I shouldn't be seen talking to you. <laughs> we need them, Patricia. Yes, we need them. So, where do I find the spare change? It's not like whatever's hiding underneath the couch cushions is going to do it. Well, I seem to remember pushing through paperwork for a multi-million dollar surgery robot. There was a two-year waiting list for that. It will bring in huge business. And could you and the robot handle that business without nurses? We can't help ourselves. We see a line. We want to cross it. Maybe it's the thrill of trading the familiar for the unfamiliar. A sort of personal dare.